The Last of Us official teaser on HBO Max. Uh, before we watch this uh, and finally see what this is looking like, uh, do you have any anticipation for this? Are you interested in watching this? I know you do like The Last of Us. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about Last of Us Part Two because we are currently playing that uh, soon. But uh, what, what's your general thoughts? <clears throat> um, I mean, to be honest, I don't really have a, a whole lot on it. I, yeah, I pretty much have discarded the idea of watching television or, or even honestly movies. So um, if it looks good and and then it comes out and people say it's good, you know, I'll probably be inclined to want to maybe check it out, but. Um, other than that, I have pretty non-existent expectations of TV these days. So, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the same page, uh, except for when it comes to HBO. I think HBO still makes some quality content, so I'm glad to see that if there is going to be a Last of Us um, show that's going to be on HBO, um, even with some of the stuff that, like you know, some of the other streaming services are trying to provide uh, in like. Uh, premium quality uh, shows, it still seems like they all can't hit the same uh, stride as HBO has been able to do. So um, I'm glad they they went with this. Um, but yeah, I agree. I don't really watch a whole lot of TV either. Uh, I still haven't watched uh, Rings of Power. Is that what it's called? Lord of the Rings show? I have no idea. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I haven't watched that. And the uh, Game of Thrones prequel, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, I haven't watched that either. So, um, yeah, I haven't been watching things except for anime lately. So, which I know you can, uh, you can relate to. Yep. Let's see that in YouTube. Pretty much the only things I watch. So, yeah. Um, so my thoughts though, uh, I'm a huge last of us fan. Um, I love, uh, the original last of us. I will reserve what I think of last of us part two for our review. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I should be excited for this, but my thing is, is I don't think The Last of Us really needed a show or a movie. Um, that's where I'm kind of at with like Metal Gear Solid as well. I'm like, there it exists as a cinematic experience that you can play. Um, I'm not opposed to it, uh, these things happening, but um, I just feel like they're unneeded. So hopefully they can do something that, that merits doing this. Um, I know they got Pedro Pascal uh, playing Joel which I don't know how to feel about that. He's he's a good actor. He's good in like uh, The Mandalorian and a bunch of other things he's been in, uh, Game of Thrones. Um, but uh, he doesn't really look the part, and neither does the girl, I forgot her name, uh, playing Ellie. But if they play the parts well, I won't care. Um, but uh, I already know that they're changing some stuff in this from the uh, game, um, and that's fine because I get it. It doesn't need to be the exact same. Um but uh, and Neil Druckmann's actually overseeing this as well, so that's that's good. Uh, it'll at least have some authenticity there. But um, yeah, it's, it has to offer something that I didn't get from the excellent game already. Because if if this show is even like okay, that's fine. But the game still exists, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna want to lean in that direction. So um, yeah, to say uh, I'm hyped for this, I can't. That's, I'm, I don't know if I am hyped for this, but I will watch it for sure. I'm definitely curious on how they execute this. Um, but yeah, maybe after watching this, I'll be I'll be really hyped for it, though. Uh, do you know anything about this? Nope. The show at all? Okay, so I guess we'll watch this, and then we can uh, discuss what we saw. And yeah, so this is Last of Us, official teaser. In three, two, one, go. Let's see what kind of song I get in trouble for. The roses have faded, there's frost at my door. The it's birds a firefly in the morning iconography. Don't sing anymore. The grass in the valley is starting to die, and out in the darkness the whipper wills cry. The darkness is falling, the sky has turned gray. Definitely got some visuals straight the from the game. So that's good to see. Fade. Chernobyl is actually really good. This is your chance. Oh, that shot. 
could keep her alive. The mind, man. Please move the mind. And you said everything right. Going out in 2023, probably early, I assume, because it looks pretty done. All right, uh, impressions. I mean, tonally, it looks like, um, you know, they have the right direction for it. Um, I definitely recognized uh, aspects of it uh, from the game. Which I can appreciate because that's one of the biggest complaints we always hear from people when it comes to video game movies is like they don't they don't do anything that happened in the game really. They just will match outfits, match names, and after that it's just like their own thing. So it is nice to at least see the same scenarios. Yeah. Um I don't really have any, I guess, hard opinions about the casting. It's always a little jarring because, like, you know, there's a st- an established appearance, obviously, that we're used to. But mm-hmm. um, the point of acting is to play a part. So um, without actually seeing them play that part, I can't really have a hard opinion. But mm-hmm. um, initial impressions is um, I think the male actor looks pretty good. Um, I think the character playing Ellie or person character the person playing Ellie. It's not a real person. Um, visually, it's pretty off, but again, it, yeah. that's that's not a hundred percent that important. So um, you remember her from Game of Thrones, the little girl. She's like the little leader chick who gets killed at the end. Oh, Spoiler yeah, 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 okay, okay, yeah, yeah it's yeah. her. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it looks fine. That's that's how I feel, too. I think it looks fine. Um, this is a Call of Duty map situation. I'm not saying it's bad or good. I uh, I think it looks fine. I, I am happy to see uh, recognizable things because that is telling me Neil Druckmann's involved. He knows the people who bought his game and played his game and loved his game. So he's definitely uh, given us something. Uh, but it's also going to be... Uh, it's got to be accessible to uh, HBO Max viewers who have never played the game, too. So True. that's kind of a balance you have to uh, do. And it seems like it's going to be able to do that. The The story of The Last of Us is a story I think uh, transcends games uh, in the sense of, like, you don't got to be into video games to enjoy that story. So it is the perfect story to translate to a show for everybody. But I am glad that they are nodding at us, the gamers, um, the fans of, of the original game. Uh, with a lot of what we're seeing here. So I like that. Um, I will be watching this for the performances and to see what they do differently, um, mostly, uh, just because it does look very similar. So I could just play the game and enjoy the gameplay while also enjoying the amazing performances um, in that game. But uh, but yeah, I agree. Uh, Pedro Pascal, um, he yeah, he looks fine. Uh, visually, but I've seen him um, in things already, and he already does play that protective father type uh, character in Mandalorian. So um, he's going to be able to do that just fine. I, I'm sure of it. Uh, she did fine in Game of Thrones. I know a lot of people really liked her. I forgot her name. Um, I thought she was fine in it. Um, she'll probably be, probably be fine here as well, um, but she definitely doesn't look like Ellie. But uh, I mean, Ellie doesn't exist. So, you know, you, right. it's going to be hard to find somebody who looks like um, the character. And I o- always get kind of annoyed too when, you know, do your fan casting. That's fine. Like it's fun or whatever. But some people will just try to cast people based off of how close they look to the character and not their range in acting. And I think the acting is more important than how much you look like the character. It would be nice if you did look closer to the character. Um, but if you can't play, if you have like a shitty actor who looks like the person, it's just going to be a bad movie. That, you're just yeah. going to make a bad movie at that point. So, um, if you get somebody who's a good actor, I'm going to forget in five minutes about how they look because they're pulling it off. It's so much more important to me. Um, 
but it is jarring at first, but we haven't watched it like you said. So without seeing the performances, we don't know. The only reason it's jarring is because you have a preconceived... I got Ellie and Joel in, my, Joel in my head from the hours I put into The Last of Us, and now I'm looking at people who someone's telling me is Ellie and Joel. Hmm. And so without seeing them in action, I can't go, oh, yeah, no, that's them. So, um, But then also when you translate anything from book to movie to video game to whatever, um, you have to allow it to be a translation and retelling of the story already. So you have to give it freedom to look different, do different things. If it's too far off, they, you know, don't respect, respect the original property, but yeah. Anyway, um, all in all, um, it, it looks quality. I am stoked to see the dude who worked on Chernobyl working on this, um, because that was really good. It does visually look similar too. Um, and, uh, they got some good actors in here. So, but, uh, really this, this trailer does just seem like it's for those people who, you know, don't know much about this guy. Oh, that looks cool. And for us who uh, uh, played the game, it's just going like, yeah, it's here it comes. Like this is what it's gonna look like. Like you'll be ready. So on that, we didn't get a lot of, you know, that wasn't like a story trailer or anything like that. That was just kind of a you know official teaser. So, and I thought it looked pretty decent. Looks like it's got a budget. Um, not that it really needs one too much. I think the only thing I would really need a budget for is the clickers. Outside of that, it's a lot of people in desolate, remote areas doing a lot of dialogue. So, and then, you know, shooting people. So, yeah. All in all, though, it uh, looks cool. And I will definitely check it out, even if I'm not like super hyped for it. I feel like I have to watch it because I love the original game so much. So, anything else you want to say? All right. Well, let us know in the comments what you guys think about The Last of Us official teaser. Did this do it for you? Did it not do it for you? Or somewhere in between? Uh, what are some of your observations? What are some of the things you noticed? Um, some things uh, that look similar to the game that you recognize? Maybe some things that look completely different? What do you think about the casting? Uh, what do you think about uh, the people playing these characters? And, and maybe you've seen them in other things um, that would uh, that, that would have you um, hyped or concerned about um, them playing these characters. And what do you want from this show? Uh, if anything at all, let me know everything you think about in the comments below.